looking mm. ahead looking ahead to another game that is crucial at both ends on the one hand uh, it's going to be the men in yellow trying to sort of jump to the top at 18 and the men in orange trying to just stay above they're underwater at the moment but not quite sunk they just want to keep afloat because this time around you can toss your calculators out the window if they don't win the equation is very clear there is no equation it is finally bye bye to heather <laughs> right even my complicated mathematics <laughs> integral calculus will not get them anywhere i'm sorry guys this time you just have to win so let's have a look at what they can possibly do against a side who are on a roll in this do or die game they made bold moves last time they got rid of david warner lots been talked about that is he going to come back he seems to suggest definitely not this season manish pandey also has been a question mark they've been hunting for their best 11 joy no better time to try and somehow pull something out of out of there yeah i think i think exactly that i think uh, they're still going to go and try and win but it's very clear that at this as a franchise they they're now looking away from both david warner and manish pandey as players if Vijay Shankar is fit, I'll be very surprised for him not to get an opportunity. They gave Priyam Garg a chance because they felt probably to go with the younger players. Uh, but uh, interesting, the other other change that they can look at is for Mujibur Rehman not to get a game at all is something that I really, really, I find, I think they need to give him an opportunity to play and, as well. And Joy, it's, it's Sharjah. It's the low and slow Sharjah. So why not Mujib? Yeah, I'd go, for, I'd go with Mujib. I'd go with Mujib. I'd go with maybe... Uh, even if Holder has to see, it, you know, sit sit it out, I would, because you need to finally see that guy. And if it's about, you know, you cannot find a better pitch than Sharjah. Mujib, Rashid on Sharjah pitches, they're going to be quite a handful. So even if your top five batsmen give you something, you've got the bowlers who can exploit those conditions. Then mm, they might they might head in the direction of Nabi though, instead of Mujib. And and the reason the only reason I go that way is because he bats and it's been quite difficult for batters so if you can lengthen the batting lineup and still get a smart he's a good operator as muhammad nabi uh knows what he's about kind of likes the contest and kind of because an all-rounder he has this like sixth sense as he goes about his bowling as well so it's tough if you're making the call it's a tough call to make as well because a holder on that slow surface changing the pace with the height also it makes him difficult to face and he's been in good touch he's, he's had a couple of good games so if you're gonna drop him oh you know it's, it's tough on the guy you're not gonna drop Roy though you're not gonna drop um, Rashid you're not gonna drop your captain Williamson so it's only one spot and they're these three guys who potentially could also contribute to you winning the game all i say is is that multiple choice and make sure you pick correctly let's move to chennai less headaches there but is this the time of the tournament or they haven't got to 18 yet when they try and see any other options we need to look at is imran tahir an option on that pitch or do you just give jadeja more of a go and uh, moin ali hasn't really bowled he's been brilliant with the bat can Moin get four overs if you're not bringing in a Tahir, Pommy? Uh, Moin probably will get overs, but I think you might get a Tahir. I think you get a Tahir instead of a Josh Hazelwood. I think he'll go, he may go that route, Donnie, and he'll pack it with those spinners. He's happy with his all rounders and batting and so forth. Essentially, then just becomes about him picking enough of his players to be able to. Um, to maneuver at Sharjah. Does he have enough in terms of seam? Yeah, I think he, you know, who's he got? He's got uh, Chaha, he'll use him up at the front and he's happy with him. He can bow cutters, he can do the rest. If he wants to go to uh, a, a faster bowler right at the back end, he'll keep Bravo to bowl right at the back end. So he doesn't necessarily need those new ball um, deliveries from a faster bowler. Tahir doesn't mind bowling first. If you ask him to, he'll do it. He'll do any job, actually. He'll be quite happy to just get in the side. So I wouldn't be surprised if he went that route. Um, of course, there's the option of Ngiti, but Ngiti 
uh, takes wickets and would prefer if the pitches were faster. This is slow. He'll go more towards the spin. And, and yeah, I expect that it may well be Tahir who he says, listen, here, have a go. Let's see how you go here. And can, can you make a play for us? Two questions, Joy. One is, of course, DJ Bravo, because they want to treat him with kid gloves. We know he came in from the CPL with a bit of a niggle, didn't bowl there at the last, at the back end of the tournament. His team won. His his biggest energy was the victory lap uh, at the end, winning after winning the tournament. But they really need to rest him a little bit. So if they're kind of resting him, is there going to be a worry somewhere in that middle order with someone like Suresh Raina? The one person, the talisman who's not quite fired yet. See, they'll carry. If you look at Chennai, the last time that they won the title, which was 2019, I mean, how long did they carry, say, Shane Watson? You know, they carried Watson forever and ever and ever until they got there. I completely agree with uh, what Pommy is saying. Uh, Tahir for Hazelwood, depending on fitness, it's either Karan or Bravo, but one of them will play. So, Karan or Bravo, one of them will play. Tahir or Hazelwood, one of them will play. And the other two obviously pick themselves. Faf and Moin Ali pick themselves. So, I think that's their lineup. They're again a very settled unit. And again, Bravo for Karan doesn't make much of a material difference in the way their side is structured. And Tahir for Hazelwood also doesn't. Remember, I think they have one more pace. This thing. They have Deepak Chahir, they have Shardul Thakur. And one of Bravo. Yeah, I, I for, and I forgot him. I mean, how can you forget him? Hey, he's got more than enough options. Yeah, exactly. He's got Shardul, he's got Deepak Chahar, he's going to get Bravo or Karan, one of these guys. So, three there and then he has four spinners. He can play Tahir, he can play Jadeja, he's got Moin Ali, he's got all the options in the world. He can get Suresh Ali to come in and bowl a few if he wants to. I mean, there is options galore for him. I think it's exactly the side that Dhoni likes to, you know, run around with. You know, lots of options, little pieces here, move it here, move it there. But uh, it's a terrific side. And it's looking good. Yeah, and, and between Deepak Chahar, Shadul Thakur and Jadeja, they bat well enough to compensate for Raina not scoring much. Yeah. Now, Raina Raina Raina. Raina. yeah look, yeah, let's remember that um, one, not been playing. Two, um, the expectation of a guy who year after year gives you runs galore, generally then says that you know, you're going to expect him to be hitting the ground running and so forth. And this is not me saying, oh, feel sorry for such and such and whatever the case may be. But what there will be, will be the belief. I was talking about um, Chahal and I was saying a hardened character who's been in battle before, who's faced all sorts of situations. The same can be said about Suresh Raina. And the fact that they now have a Moen Ali, who they believe is the number three who can do it. He will go, he'll play freely, do what he needs to do, but it's not necessarily going to come off each time. And so as he walks in at four or at five, Suresh Raina essentially becomes this sort of backup if the situation doesn't, if the plan doesn't go accordingly and can still do that job. So it's a nicely long order, throw in the all-rounders that you're talking about after that, whether it's Bravo, whether it's Shadul Taku, whether it's Deepak Chaha coming in all the way further back, then, you know, you're a happy MS Donny. And I haven't even put him in the order yet because he comes oh, before all of those non guys. non yeah. captain. I, I haven't even spoke, I haven't even spoken about Jadeja who will come in as well. So Raidu, don't, don't you Raidu, worry. Pommy, don't, Raidu. I, yeah, Raidu is before him, right? Like Raidu might go in. Before. So that's okay. I don't think you have to worry about Reiner. All that CSK will want is that as they go towards the games that matter, that you know, you know there will be enough of them in form that will be playing decently enough that they can get the job done when it counts. That's all. And they'll back the guys who have been in their 11, who have that experience to be able to get it done on the day.